Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand spanking new episode of Saved by the Bell. Um, man oh man, things are getting heated here in the courtroom and it looks like our supposed girlfriend sort of person is being called to the stand by Kelly Kapowski herself. So, Kelly. Yeah, where we last left off, I am in uh, court. If you want to check that out, make sure you check out the last video. Otherwise, you will have no idea what the heck's happening. But, let's get into it. Kelly. Uh, next, I'd like to call Jessica Myrtle Spano. Myrtle? Kelly, I told you that in confidence. Jessica takes the stand. Or Jessica. Jessie takes... I don't know why I said Jessica. But her name is that, so I guess whatever. Jessie, how do you know the defendant? Ryan is my friend. And until a certain perky cheerleader got involved, he was also my legal client. You claim that you and the defendant are friends, but I have reason to suspect you two aren't as close as you say, or even as close as you think you are. All of Bayside saw you two partner up for the dance competition and you won, but it wasn't your idea to enter the contest, was it? Well, no, I, I guess not. In fact, you es uh, expectingly avoid the dance contest because you were self-conscious about your height. Yeah, but Ryan was so determined to win that CD player that they pressured you into doing something uncomfortable. A real friend would never do that. A real friend would never call out my biggest insecurity in front of a crowd of people, but I guess life's funny that way. All this talk about dance is giving me ants in my pants. Kelly, where is all this going? Kelly, eyes narrow. Kelly's eyes narrow. To the dance floor. I'd like to for Jesse and Ryan to prove their friendship by showing us how well they can dance together. Are you serious? I'll allow it, but I can't promise I won't break out my funky chicken. Kelly brings, uh, begins clearing room in the middle of the floor. Let's see what you got. You meet Jesse in the middle of the courtroom, uh, slash civics class uh, room slash dance floor. The trial has gone off the rails. Just remember our lesson. What's the most important part of dancing with a partner? Staying in sync, feeling the groove. Staying in sync. We got. We have to pay close attention to each other. If we can do that, we'll be fine. Kelly pl uh, hits play on the boom box and the song begins. Jesse starts grooving to the music. Belding is taking diligent dance notes jesse bursts out in the running man or should i say running woman time to sync up running man uh you match jesse's running woman with a running man of your own your uh sync uh and chris sync you get it i can't say it i know what it is you know what it is for, I don't know. This is kind of getting towards the end of my. You could definitely notice synchronicity. Synchron, yeah, I after I get I've, after I do a lot of these episodes in a row, I just can't, I, my brain gets fried. This is definitely the last episode of my play session, so bear with me here. I'm gonna try and get through. I just wanted to finish this, so bear with me. Synchronicity, synch, yeah, whatever. Synchronicity, synch, yeah. <laughs> Especially to Mr. Belling. They're running, but they're not going anywhere. How did they do that? Great stuff, Ryan. Keep it up. You and Jesse are finding your groove when the CD player skips. The dance song stops and a heavy metal song takes over. Jesse immediately freezes up. Kelly watches you on with a smile. She planned this. What do we do? Start headbanging, jump into Jesse's arm. No. Watch for it. Uh, start headbanging. Follow my lead. Okay. You start violently whipping your head to the music. The kids call this head banging. Jesse start just stares. Come on, trust me. She joins you, but hesitantly. I know you can do better than that. I can always do better. 
Jesse kicks her head banging into high gear, thrashing aggressively all over the dance floor. The music stops, but Jesse keeps thrashing. Jesse, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, guess I had some aggression to get out. Building bangs his gavel. All right, I've heard enough. And I've certainly seen enough. It's clear that you two are in sync. And therefore, by Kelly's logic, you two are friends. You may have a seat, Miss Myrtle. Jesse shoots daggers at Kelly for uh, before returning to her seat. For my next witness, wait a minute. Don't I ask? Don't I get to ask more questions? I am an equal and fair judge, but we have to be out of here by fourth period civics. So let's move this along. I call Zach Morris to the stand. About time, Zach pays entrance plays entrance music as he makes his way to the stand nope not today morris off you go zach kills the music and returns to his seat <laughs> the prosecution has no further witnesses your honor save by the best for save the best for last i see does the defense have any more witnesses you scan the room hoping for a sign or a miracle or a kevin his interference displays a message that reads put me in coach do you want to the robot to speak on your behalf? Oh, man. No, I can't. The f defense rests. I'm exhausted. Kevin's message changed to a frowny face. I'm sorry, Kevin. It's just, I have to save it for the... I, I have only enough to do one more action, and I have a thing I need to do. We will now hear closing arguments, starting with the prosecution. Ladies and gentlemen. Today, we learned a lot about Ryan through his friends, or should I say, friends. She used air quotes and everything. Ryan may have apologized for causing the purple problem, but does an apology matter when he almost cost us another loss to Valley? The crowd boos. You hear, then there was Lisa, who I believe made up an elaborate story because she could not think of a single ch charitable act and who ultimately admitted that she doesn't trust the defendant. That sounds bad when you put it like that. It was bad, Lisa. And finally, there was Jessie. She had, and the defendant may have provided, proved that they can stay in sync, but Ryan tried to pressure Jessie despite her insecurities. And that doesn't sound like a friend to me. Based on everything we've heard today, I've calculated I've concluded that for the purpose of this mock trial, Kelly pauses and musters the energy to say, I just think Ryan is not Bayside Tiger material. Ouch. Ryan, is there anything you'd like to say? Make emotional appeal, crack a joke, state facts. Um I'm a state of the facts. I'm a listen to what Jesse said. I encourage you to look at the facts. You heard from three Bayside students today. I've done something to help all of them and consider all of them to be my friends. I thought this would be an easy decision, but we've both given but you've both given me a lot to think about. I will retire to my chambers to uh, delab deliberate and probably take a power nap. I will call you when I've reached a decision. Court is in recess. You sit frozen in your seat as court adjourns. Zach comes up to you and puts a hand on your shoulders. I would like to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the belding target off my back. Can we get out of here like now? Leave school in the middle of the day? You betcha. You and Zach leave the classroom for the rest with the rest of the crowd. You arrive at the max looking worse to, for wear. Uh, you try to drown out Zach as he rambles on about the trial. I mean, Kelly was ruthless. I've never seen her like that. It was awesome. Sorry. How do you feel about the trial? I deserve it. I wasn't fair. I held my own. I feel like I held my own. I'm proud that I stood my ground. The rest is out of my hands. Master Re Rebel. Sorry, would you say? 
I was still thinking about Kelly bringing down the hammer. Let me get you some fries to ease the pain. Better make them chili fries. No, chili cheese fries. Zach goes to the order just as Kelly arrives. Before you say anything, I just want to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was awful, but building put me, put so much on me, and if I botched it on purpose, he would know. Are we still friends? Yeah, of course. Of course. I know you didn't mean what you said. Gosh, you're nice. If I were you, I'd hate me. Kelly gives you a flirty smile. Kelly passes a milkshake across the table. Well, if you'd like to take things over, talk, talk things over a milkshake, I'd really appreciate it. It's not an olive branch, but I figured this is, was, I sorry, tastier, I think was that last word. Thanks, Kelly. I, uh, no. I know there's somebody sitting there going, dude, you got to click it. It's Kelly Kapowski. <sighs> All right. All right. That's really sweet of you, Kelly. Sure. Let's go talk things out. Kelly eyes uh, light up for the first time in days. Really? Thank you, Ryan. It really means so much. You and Kelly find a schedule, a secluded booth in the back of the Max. You take a sip of your milkshake, but Kelly keeps her eyes glued to the table. Come on, Kelly. What's the matter? I've n never seen you this down. Kelly finally looks up and notices tears well. Kelly finally looks up. You notice tears welling up in her eyes. I just really don't want you to hate me. I could never hate you. You could have been easier on me. You're following orders. I could never hate you, Kelly. She's Kelly Kapowski. Who hates Kelly Kapowski? Now, we'll say there are moments that Kelly Kapowski, she messed up in the show, man. There were some moments that she did some things that I didn't even think Zach would ever do, but she did some things. She cheated on Zach Morris. Come on now. Come on now. I, I don't forget that. But hey, you know what? This That's meta. This is this, this is the game. She don't do that. She well, Yeah, I don't think she's done that yet. Cause they, yeah, because Zach and her haven't gotten together, so she hasn't done that yet. Ah, right, Kelly, put those tears away. I could never hate you. I'm frustrated with the situation, but none of it is your fault. You're just following orders. Yeah, but I've been ordered to hurt a friend before. I've never been ordered to hurt a friend before. It's also confusing. You got a tough job, but I could never hate you for it. You're Kelly Kapowski. You're just too likable. That's the problem. I spend all my time trying to make everyone happy. I'm afraid if I disappoint any, but someone, they won't love me anymore. Kelly Matters too. No, can be nice. Oh, uh, you can't. Yeah, Kelly Matters too. Kelly, you gotta remember that Kelly Matters too. Your happiness matters just as much as everyone else. That hits Kelly close to home. But what if I disappoint someone? What if they hate me for it? Then let them. Someone else's feelings aren't worth sacrificing your own. Your job isn't to make everyone happy. That's pretty much impossible. That's the first thing they teach you in narrator school. <laughs> Kelly's eyes well up with tears of joy this time. Uh, I've never thought about it like that. To be honest, no one ever asks me how I feel about things. Thank you for reminding me that I matter too. You're really special, Ryan. Everyone deserves a Kelly. You inspire me. We're the lucky ones. Everyone deserves a Kelly. Everyone deserves a Kelly. There you go. You're the special one for always putting everyone else first. We're lucky to have such an amazing person like you in our lives. The tears finally flow down Kelly's cheeks. She places her hand on yours. Well, I'm lucky to have you in my life. This isn't a moment I hope I... This is a moment I never forget. Wait. Nope. Take three. This is a moment I hope I never forget. There we go. Now, you don't have to. Snap. Max takes a photo of you two with hands you... And hands you a trophy. World's best friends. Kelly smiles as you both enjoy the shared moment. Thank you so much for everything, Ryan. I feel like a whole new Kelly Kapowski. Good.
Keep on making the world a happier place, but not at the expenses of your own happiness. Kelly flashes use that signature Kelly smile. You got it. Slater bursts through the door still in his bailiff costume. Ladies and gentlemen, but mostly ladies. Slater winks. What is it, Slater? The verdict is in. To be continued. In Belding's office. To be continued. I'm a friend who we want to hang out. You told Kelly uh, there were no hard feelings between you. You and Kelly shared a booth at the max. Slater. Uh, Slater gave positive testimony on your behalf. Lisa attempted to put in a good word for you because we didn't have anything. So she just has this like weird story she gives you. You and Jesse showed off your dance moves. Jesse helped prove your case through the dance. So I think we're good. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, I think we got time to start the next episode. So we're going to do that. And then we'll uh, we'll probably wrap it up here pretty soon. Excuse me, Ryan. Please wake up. Wake up! You wake in the principal's office. Mr. Belding stares you down still in his judge's robe and wig. Sorry, I thought I'd let you sleep. You looked so tired after the trial, I figured you could use a nap. Thanks, I really needed that. Well, you're welcome. Not everyone appreciates my lectures. But enough about the merits and uh truthfulness it's time to disp- dispense some justice now you'll remember from the trial the testimony of ac slater was mostly positive next was lisa's story which does not count as a miserable testimony according to bayside's charter uh lisa testified that you found models for your character your calendar shoot which is nice you also danced with Jesse, and you were in sync. Definitely a positive judge of character, if I've ever seen one. As with every death row inmate, I mean mock trial participant, I required to. I'm required to ask you if you have any last words. The truth will, shall set me free. Bring on the guillotine. I accept my fate. I accept my fate. I accept my fate. (laughs) Let the trial tell whether I'm guilty or innocent. Either way, I'm ready. Belding is clearly moved by your words. Wow, so mature for your age. I wish Zach took more judgments uh, this seriously. So be it. In the case of Ryan versus Bayside High, under the charges of conduct unbecoming of a Bayside Tiger, I find you... We will find out what he thinks in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to watch more, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the bell button, get notified when a video gets uploaded, and make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Um, The more likes you get, the more videos we'll put out of this series, and uh, I'm going to finish this uh, as requested by uh, some people that have been watching. Uh, So we do read your comments. We do comment on them. Whether it is good or bad, we love the discussions, especially when there's a group of people that are talking with one another through uh, the chat. So uh, we love you guys. PT Nation, stay strong, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, yeah, check out that random video of the past. Links in the description below for all of Primal Target's social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Windows, uh, a couple months. Yeah, I I don't remember the Wii, but I do remember. Android and iOS. What? Hold up. It came out.